Saturday's opening friendly against Dartford. Danny, how are the players looking? Yeah, no, I'd say pre-season's gone really well so far. Boys have come back in very good shape. Um, we've got the hard work out of the way and uh, looking forward to the games coming up now. So, how are the squad looking? Are you happy with what you got or do you want to add a few more? Yeah, we've still, we've still, we've still uh, probably a forward and a, and a wide player short. Uh, we've got a couple of trialists with us at the moment that we're looking at. We'll have a good look at them Saturday and Tuesday. Um, we're, we've been a bit patient with it. We're, we're waiting for people to come available and that, so we'll, we'll, we'll be ready to pounce uh, as and when. But no, I'd say the boys we brought in brought in some big experienced players, some league winners amongst them as well, and uh, they can only uh, benefit us with some of the young talent we've got here as well. But after last season, it was uh, pretty obvious that we needed a bit more experience and a bit more steel in our side, and uh, we've gone out and done that. So uh, pleased with the signings we've made, and uh, hopefully we've got time now with uh, eight pre-season games coming up, thick and fast, to, to get into jail quick enough, ready for uh, the start of the season. So compared to this point last season, do you think we're in a better, much better position? Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say, uh, obviously, it was a bit up and down last season. Um, so obviously, pre-season last year, obviously, George stepping down as chairman and none of us really knew what we was going to do and how, how things were going to go. So we, we've, we've been given a budget to go to and uh, I'd say it's, it's, um, it's, it's, it's pleasing and uh, it shows by the, the, the calibre of player we've brought in. So... Obviously, last season everyone wants to avoid what happens. What have we got to do this season to avoid that happening again? I think we've just got to be a bit more consistent. Um, there was too many times last year that where we, we performed pretty well and gave away too many sloppy goals, switching off at, at vital times and uh, maybe not taking our chances. Uh, having a, a, a far better discipline uh, throughout the side where I think we had too many red cards last year. but. What we've done this year, we've made sure we've had a bit of strength and depth to our squad and uh, if we do lose players for injury or suspension, we've got players that are more than capable and stepping up to the plate and uh, hopefully not uh, making the side any weaker by making changes. So people have got to fight for their place this year. We've, we've, we've made some uh, very good signings and uh, everyone's chopping at a bit, getting ready to go. Now you can tell by uh, the, the training sessions that Junior's put on, like bringing him in as well as, as a coach has been a massive plus to work alongside Brad. and. No, I'm really happy and positive uh, how things are going at the moment. So, uh, obviously, the next two games coming up against Dartford and Chelmsford, there'll be a lot of changes and a lot of people just getting minutes in their legs to start with. Then, once we get these two games out of the way, hopefully, we can uh, start seeing what, what, what our best uh, side's going to be and if we can get them to gel quick enough. So, we've brought in, as you touched on, uh, Junior Lewis. What has he given to the team? Uh, not, uh, well, so far, so far, he, he's been a breath of fresh air. To be honest, you know, like different ideas. Uh, he, he's a bit of a disciplinarian, if I'm honest. Uh, but so I, I'm learning from him. Brad's learning from him. Everyone's learning from him. The way he conducts himself around the place and uh, wants everything done right. Um, he, he's just been a bit of credit to himself. Obviously, the career he's had as a, a coach. You know, he was at Leeds United first team last year and. It's a coup for us to get him involved here and that, and we're, we're, we're lucky and pleased to have him here. And uh, hopefully, that's another string to our bow that can uh, push us on again this season. So, we've added experienced players. You brought them in like Paul, Sheehan, Haller, Martin Tui. Um, what does experience mean? What Do you think is that what we lacked last season? Well, I just, I just think that we was a bit naive last year, and uh, we had. We, we was very quiet as a side and uh, not in the change room the change room was buzzing all the way through the season but just on the pitch like when, when, when you're 1-0 down away to, to, to somewhere miles away on a Tuesday night and you need you look around and you need people that are going to draw, drive you on and push you through games and, and get you over the line and I think we lack that in a, in a bit we've got a lot of players here that, that are senior players but just maybe not vocal enough in the change room just to G everyone up and that and we, that's what we've done obviously Richard's um, a man man in obviously he talks very well so Steve Sheehan the goalkeeper we brought in Jake Larkins has been brilliant in his pre-season so far and uh, it, it, it will it'll, it'll, uh, it'll make sure that we uh, hopefully keep a few more clean sheets than we did last year but it's like obviously bringing Martin Tui in a former uh, uh, Golden Boot winner of the Roman Premier League as well shows what we're trying to do here this season but with people like Glenn Paul's experience and bringing Tam with his strength and that in here uh, and like I said earlier, blending in with what we've already got here as well, hopefully it, it all, all builds up for an exciting season. We've kept players on though, like Curran, Dumas, Collish, Chatty and Easterford. How important is it, as well as to bring players in, to retain a core squad? Yeah, what, what, what I've tried to do this summer is we've been very busy, obviously, getting players in and that, but I think the furthest person that travels in is from Hackney, where we had people travelling in all over the place last year and it was uh, timekeeping stuff a little bit and... Uh, 
sometimes that bit of togetherness that, that maybe we lacked at times uh, when the going got tough. But I say like all the boys know each other, like say from Martin Tui to Glenn Paul to Steve Shear and Richard Alley. Quite a few of them have played here before, so they know what we're about. And uh, and I just think that just that they're all local boys as well, so they all know each other in and out of football anyway. So that can only help us. So I've got a good list of pre-season fixtures that obviously the jewel in that crown is that West Ham game uh, what have you got to say about how big a game that is for the club not just for the for the players well I think it just goes to show obviously the setup we've got here and uh, obviously having South End as well included in that Phil Brown brought the side down here halfway through the season last year he was impressed with the setup and the pitch and, we, and we've got a friendly out of them as well but obviously the West Ham game does does this Cat is the catching one on everyone's eye, and I think we've sold a thousand tickets already. I think the tickets have only been on sale for two weeks, and uh, a thousand have gone already. So hopefully we'll have a big crowd here, and uh, it'll be exciting for the for the for the club and the supporters. And uh, I think it's the last game before the season gets underway. So hopefully it'll be a bit of a marquee pre-season game, and uh, hopefully they'll all come back for the first game of the season on on the Saturday. So looking ahead to the opener this Saturday against Dartford, obviously you've told us in the past pre-season, especially the early ones, the friendlies, not always about winning. What are you looking to get from that? Uh, I just mean it's in their legs, to be honest with you. Uh, from Dartford and Chelmsford, uh, they're two probably tough friendlies that, that, that maybe I would have liked, but sometimes you have to do what you've got to do. And uh, I'll just be looking for minutes in their legs for the first two games, really. I'm not really very interested in... Uh, in the scoreline, if I'm honest, but uh, obviously we a good performance and uh, we've worked hard. We've, we've gone through a, a little bit of a defensive uh, pattern of play and, and, and our shape and things we've worked on, but we won't work on any probably uh, forward and attacking stuff until next Thursday after these two games now. Uh, so ju just just a like, professional performance really, to hold our own, work hard, stand up and be counted and uh, and hopefully just see how the boys start joining together, but the, the main thing is just to get minutes in their legs over these next two games. Fantastic. Talk to you soon, Danny. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate.